What's going on YouTube? So in this video, I'm gonna pretty much talk to the people who's about to go into basic training. Now, I know I make a lot of content for either you're at Tuskegee University, or you just wanna keep up with the news at the school, or if you're trying to get into State 21 and it's just basic military knowledge, but this is gonna be tailored to the people who aren't even in the military yet. So let's get into the video. I joined the military I signed that first paper when I was 17 turned 18 then got shipped off to boot camp right so a lot of us go through that process but a lot of us don't so I'm gonna talk to both crowds about what you need to do when you're there now when you're 18 years old and you don't know nothing as far as like life and you haven't really been going through as much you haven't been through as much yet um, your resume is just getting started and that doesn't change when you get to basic so nobody's gonna be taught alone and what I mean by that is you're gonna have a sergeant a first sergeant staff sergeant master sergeant first class second class chief or an officer in charge of you depending on what branch you in and these are gonna these are gonna be the people you see on a daily basis now the first thing you're gonna notice is all of them are not gonna be on the same page I'm gonna tell you that right now somebody might say something different and then you're gonna have to follow two orders at the same time and you're gonna be like how can I do this first off you're not gonna win at every battle you're gonna lose almost 98% of the battles now being 18 years old that frustrated me I was like why y'all ain't on the same page like what's going on with this like what 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 agenda do y'all have who's in charge so then I get a real sense of who's really in charge I find out like oh, okay she's she's the leader I'm gonna only try to deal with her but that's not how that works right so being 18 years old the first thing I want you to know is make sure you pay attention to all different leadership styles and learn from them this is a whole leadership learning this is a whole process just soak it all in and just enjoy the fact that you you there you know what I'm saying whether you're excited or you're not excited but just understand that you can learn from every single person at basic the second thing I want to say is it's gonna be all right like you're gonna miss your you're gonna miss your parents you're gonna miss your mom um, your dog may die you know what I'm saying family members might like might literally pass away or people get incarcerated while you're away like that's normal that's normal. That's going to be the first time that you actually experience having that separation anxiety. I know for me, I had siblings that I was attached to and I really missed at the time. I have best friends that I was attached to. Like being young, you don't really, like I said, you probably never experienced that before. So it's going to hit you hard. It's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. Manage your emotions and at the same time, remember, it's going to be okay. They have You have phones and if it's really important, you will at least get to fly out and see, the, see those family members if it is that serious. But um, nine times out of 10 the the thing that got me through was on all those situations was just remembering it's all temporary like me I'm a day counter like I'll try to look in that we had something called the fishbowl in the, in the Navy so I'll try to look at the fishbowl look through the glass and see like what day we on and how many days we got left what we had planned for the next day I was nosy I kind of wanted to see what's going on so if you know if you got the fishbowl and you're in the military in the Navy you could just look in the fishbowl and just see it see a calendar or something like that that kept me going to the next day me personally all right so you're going to have these group activities right let's just say a group activity is a, a uniform inspection so you then you got your chief you know what I'm saying they checking your uniform they was like okay all buttons button you know check no strings no gear drift check are your shoes tied check you know what I'm saying? Now, look, don't tell on yourself during these inspections. Like, they got all types of inspections that's going to teach you how to pay attention to detail. That's the point. And it's also going to teach you the basics on how to wear a uniform, how to be on time, how to keep how to keep a running log, how to write, stuff like that, right? Let's just say your shoes are untied for an inspection. And everybody's coming in, everybody's lined up. There's something called a toe line. You'll learn that when you get there. It's a toe line. Everybody's lined up. And then like you you know your shoes are untied. Do not bend down to tie your shoes. Let your shoes stay untied. So we got a little saying, when you're wrong, stay wrong. In, in situations like that though, like not trying to get nobody killed or nothing like that. If you made like a grave mistake later down the line, you'll know the difference, believe me. But let's just talk about for inside of basic and boot camp. Your shoes are untied. You got an inspection coming up. Don't bend down to tie your shoes because then that's going to affect everybody. It's not just going to affect you. Keep that in mind. Like everybody is one while you're at basic. Okay, so now I want to talk to my, my people that's in my age range of like, let's say 24 to 28. Let's say, no, nah, let's say 22 to 28. Now that's a pretty big gap, but at the same time, 
it's going to be people who's going to be a lot less mature than you are, especially at 22, that 18 to 22 gap. Um, those people learn a lot more. They learn a lot more between that gap than they really realize. And then when you hit 22 to 28, it's going to be another learning gap in life. Now, you have so much life experience and you want to pass it on, right? But people not going to care, man. People just not going to care. It's not going to be nothing personal. It's just that people just don't really understand uh, the value of what you know yet, right? They're, they're all in a new situation. You're in a new situation. Everybody's trying to learn together and learn how to work with each other. So the best advice I could give somebody who's joining the Navy a little bit later just take heed and understand where people are coming from. Don't be all uppity and saying what you know and what you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody like me, I'm going to look at you and be like, well, so-and-so don't really have good military bearings. You know what I'm saying? It must be it must be really bad if so-and-so is acting up. They 26 and I'm, I'm 18, I'm 19. You know what I'm saying? So if they acting up, that means that it must be all right. So people literally do take, take that for... Uh, a signal of who to listen to and who not to listen to depending on depending on how old they are so especially if we the same rank so that's my advice to some people that's coming in at 22 to 28 make sure that you stay humble make sure that you learn from everybody obviously because when you jumping into a new job you're not going to know everything you're not going to know everybody you don't really know the ropes so stay humble and learn from the people that's younger than you and if you're in charge of people that's younger than you or you're on the same level as people that's younger than you make sure you keep a level head man be humble because at the end of the day like i said the, the bad times not going to last, you know what I'm saying? And how you react is how somebody else is going to react. And lastly, for everybody, man, be more like water. And the reason why I say be more like water, somebody told me that his name was Chief Hing. If you know Chief Hing, man, tell him I said what's up. He said, be like water. Just go with the flow. Sometimes it's better to go with the flow than try to, you know what I'm saying, try to swim upstream all the time. That's my that's my advice to y'all, man. Hopefully y'all have a good day. Um, when you go into basic training, keep these things in mind, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. Yeah.